Namaste. Thank you for joining me for yet another class. I invite you to grab your mat, your bolster, place your bolster on your mat, find a nice comfortable seat with your spine nice and tall, shoulders down and back, hands in Namaskar in front of the heart, eyes closed. Begin to deepen the breath as you come into the present moment. Starting the class with three ohms. Inhale deeply. Oh. Just breathe. Keeping the eyes closed. Today's class is all about the feet our beautiful souls within our soul. The soles of the feet share so much information. If you've heard of reflexology, you can understand this deeply. Ultimately, ultimately they tell us a lot about ourselves. They have so much to share. We look at someone's feet they almost tell a story within themselves so today we're going to honor our feet we're going to love them up with some awareness some gentle exercises some stretching and some beautiful gratitude slowly open your eyes and come into the space beautiful you can stay on your bolster if you'd like and just bring your feet together, the soles of your feet together in Baddha Konasana. Allow them to meet, allow them to kiss and just place your hands on your ankles, close your eyes and send them love. Our feet are often such an abused part of our body we stand on them for long periods of time or we sit too long or if you're like me you might sit cross-legged too long and then you get like numb feet or numbness in your feet and they deserve so much love like holy our feet do so much for us and if we took the time out to love them to embrace them to honor them I guarantee we would all notice a difference. I notice a difference when I actually take care of my feet, whether it's giving myself a pedicure or getting a pedicure, massaging them, rubbing some lotion or some oil into them with some essential oils, and just enjoying them. Just like um, earthing, earthing is really good for you as well placing them in the earth and allowing everything in your body, all the negative energy to flow into the earth. The earth just dissipates it and transmutes it into positive energy. So it's a really good practice going bare feet in the, the earth. So hold on to your ankles, take a moment and give yourself, your, your feet, your souls some love.
when you're ready, open your eyes. Come into the space. Release the hold of your feet. Take the pillow out from underneath your bum. And slowly join me at the top of your mat in Tadasana Mountain Pose. Beginning with our sun salutations. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale, knee down. Inhale, come up, Anjani Asana. Exhale, plant the hands, step back into plank. Inhale at the top of your plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale. Exhale, the pelvis down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a breath. Inhale, right foot forward. Exhale, knee down. Inhale, Anjani Asana. Exhale, plant the hands, step forward. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart. Stepping sideways on your mat or facing forward if you have enough room. Bringing your feet nice and wide. We're going to do a uh, Kriya called warrior breath. This is the first warrior breath. Okay, so we're going to bend into almost like a goddess pose and the breath sounds like this twice in the nose twice out the mouth making that sound and it's very energizing so we're taking the energy from the earth bringing it up through our feet allowing it to fully embody and fully carry into our body okay our arms are doing this two inhales two exhales okay now join me bring your hands up make two fists inhale Gazes forward and strong. you're very energized the more you do this the more energized you get specifically I always feel it in my hands and my feet this little tingly sensation slowly bring your feet hip width distance apart face whatever direction you like and just look down at your feet now we feel nice and energized let's take it slow Look down at your feet. Looking at our feet is often something that people don't enjoy doing. People often say, oh, I have such ugly feet. Having been an esthetician, and you hear this all the time, it's completely normal. But let's just cancel, let's just erase those ideas. Look at our feet and just send them some love. They are your feet. They're not going anywhere. They're on your body. All your toes, all your little joints in there, so many joints in the feet. Your soles, maybe your fallen arches or your high arches. Maybe your pronation or your supination. Maybe your heels are a little tender. 
whatever they are, they're your feet. And they deserve to be loved exactly as they are, just as you do. So look at them, send them love for a moment. When you're ready, come back up. Hands at your side. Just gently lean your body weight forward. I'm gonna, sit, I'm gonna face the side so you can see. So lean forward. And then take the time and lean back. Leaning back is harder. Lean forward. And lean back. Lean forward. And lean back. Bringing gentle awareness to the soles of your feet as you go. Coming back to center, neutral, and go side to side. To the right, shift your weight to the left. To the right, A circle so go forward right back left forward right back left one more time forward right back left switch directions forward left back, right, forward, left, back, right, forward, left, Ooh. back, right, and come to center. Just using your right foot, make some nice gentle but big circles with that ankle. you're like me, you got some cracks going on in there, it's completely normal. Joint movement, tendon ligament movement, it's completely normal. Less so ligaments, but it's all moving. The body will make sounds if it needs to. Switch directions that you're circling. Wonderful. Now switch feet. Circle the left, one direction. I've actually had some feet problems. Hurt myself in Bali earlier this year, obviously before the pandemic. And um, I just keep getting this sharp pain in the sole of my left foot. It's the one I hurt. Switch directions. And I find doing stuff like this is really helpful because the reason you have pain isn't always because of the injury, it could be because of the healing. So as your body is figuring out how to function without, um, in my case, without the ligaments I tore, there could be a healing pain. So honoring that, knowing that my body's just like, I don't know how to function without this ligament, but I gotta figure it out, coming to stillness. Transitioning into tree, shifting your weight to your right foot. Coming to your ankle to begin. Hands in Namaskar. Slowly coming up just below the knee. Staying there. If you'd like, bringing the foot nice and high and staying there. Remember the trick to tree, tight abdomen, gaze forward on an unmoving object. Stay there. This helps build the integrity of your soul, soul of your foot, your soul too. I mean, it's not bad to be a tree and be grounded, but specifically the soul of your foot.
take a breath, release the foot down, shake it up. Beautiful. Switching sides, shifting your weight into your left foot, bringing the right foot to your ankle. Take a breath. Slowly bring it all the way up, just below the knee. Take a breath. Now either stay there, or if you'd like, grab onto that ankle and place it higher up on the leg. My body's not enjoying that today, so I'm just gonna keep it low. Sometimes people will get a pinch, pinching sensation on the inside of the leg. Our body's always at a different point. And breathe. Gaze forward, tighten the abdomen, and breathe. your mat. Stand in Tadasana for a moment. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Stay in your forward fold. If you can, Lift your toes and place your fingers underneath your toes, giving a nice full body energy exchange. If you can, lift your feet and place your hands underneath the soles of your feet. Your hands are an extension of your heart chakra, so this is a way of cultivating giving and receiving, specifically to the soles. And breathe. When you're ready, lift your feet off, open up the feet nice and wide, and come down into yogic squat. And move back a bit. Bringing your hands into Namaskar, pressing the elbows on the inside of your knee, pressing deeper into that, that squat. Shoulders down and back, Tailbone reaching towards the floor and breathe. When you're ready, slowly release the arms reach behind you and come down to a seat, cross-legged. Now I'm going to turn and face you. Now we're going to sit cross-legged and what we're going to do is take your left foot and sort of place it on top of your leg like this. If you need to have a cushion here, if you'd like, you can do that. If it makes it easier for you. The idea is that you can see the sole of your foot right here, okay? So just taking your thumbs, digging into this part of your foot right here, and making nice little circles, massaging your own feet. Giving them some love. When you're done there, switching to the next toe, the next um, joint. So we're moving in this direction. Making some nice circles. Switching to the next one. Keep going down the line at your own pace. Beautiful. 
taking your big toe in your index finger and your thumb, wiggling it and gently pulling it, creating a little bit of space in that joint. Switching to the second toe. Third toe. Fourth. And fifth. Coming down to your heel, taking your thumb and your index finger, and gently applying pressure on either side. And if your hand is getting tired, now you know the effort of a massage therapist or a reflexologist. It's not easy. Okay, relax that, rub your hands together. Create some heat and some friction and place them over your feet however you'd like. Take a moment and just say thank you, thank you, thank you. Lovely. Slowly release that and switch sides. Tucking the left foot in, right foot on top of the leg. Starting once again with the ball that initial ball just below your big toe. Bringing your thumbs together and making small circles. Giving your feet some love. Keep going down the line at your own pace. When you're ready, transitioning to the toes. With your index finger and your thumb, grabbing onto that big toe, gently pulling it and wiggling it. Creating a little bit of space in those joints there. Switching to the second toe. And the third toe. fourth toe, and the last little baby toe. Beautiful. Taking your right hand, index finger and thumb, grabbing onto that heel and gently pinching it on either side. She gets squashed all day nice to give her a little bit of pressure on the outsides like that. Beautiful. Rubbing your hands together, creating some friction, some heat. Applying them to your hands, closing the eyes, and just giving them some love, saying thank you, thank you, thank you. Beautiful. Slowly come out of your seat. Come onto your knees and 
we're gonna do a pose that might be sensitive for some. So just be gentle with yourself. Bring your body weight forward, tuck the toes underneath you, and sit back on top of them. This is sensitive for me, but it's sensitive in a good way. So this is sort of stretching your um, the soles of your feet, giving a nice stretch there. It's also strengthening your toes and the balls of your feet. Just breathe. If you'd like to make it a little harder, come onto your feet like this, but then come up onto the balls of your feet. This is called toes pose. So that the first one was also called toes pose, and this is the official one. So it's just a different variation. If you're here, breathe. If you're down here, then just breathe. It's not easy. don't hear about which is very valid for the feet, the integrity of our the soles of our feet is that if we have a tight lower posterior leg and even higher sometimes depending on how tight the higher portion is but if this is tight down here in our calf it can greatly affect the blood flow to the foot so a lot of times if people just stretch out this area they end up having more um, less pain in their in the soles of their feet and things like plantar fasciitis just completely go away. Okay. So sit into, sit into dasana, dandasana, lengthen the spine, shoulders down and back. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, fold forward, grabbing onto those feet if you can, bending the knees if you have to. And breathe. The idea here is to stretch the back of that lower leg. If you're not feeling a stretch, try making some adjustments, maybe, maybe straightening your legs a bit more or pulling a bit more on the balls of your feet. And breathe. Another great pose for this is to just sit in downward dog and really focus on that um, dorsiflex or yeah, dorsiflexion of the ankle. That's where this part of your foot is going up like this, this dorsiflexion. Just breathe. Slowly release. Rise back up. Bring the hands down. Feet at the edge of the mat and lower yourself down for Shavasana. breath. As you exhale, release your shoulders, your neck, your jaw, your tongue, your eyes, your eyelids, and your brow. Get comfortable however you need to. Place your hands on your hips, sending love down towards your feet. Rest in Shavasana.
slowly begin to wake your body back up. Wiggling the fingers and toes. Rising up to a seat. When you get to your seat, bringing your hands to Namaskar in front of the heart, closing the eyes. Cultivating gratitude for your souls. your soul and activates your soul. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Hari Om Tat Sat. Namaste.